Hi everybody, this video is on dimensional analysis. We will learn how to convert units using the method of dimensional analysis. When we talk about units, uh, we need units to measure things. There are, uh, when it comes to science specifically, there are a lot of things that we need to measure. Uh, for example, you have to record the mass, you have to record the volume, temperature, length, time, and amount. And then uh, when I'm recording the mass, I need to know uh, which unit I'm going to use to record the mass. So I will be using grams to record the mass. I will be using meters to record the volume, Celsius or Kelvin to record the temperature, meters to length, and seconds for time. And when it comes to amount, how much, you know, how many of things there are, then I, I use the unit moles. So there are, these are the units we will be using uh, in chemistry in general for most of the measurements that we will do. Now you need to know what the mass is. Mass means how much matter it has. Volume means how much space it's going to take. Temperature means uh, the measure of kinetic energy, by the way, since I'm here. So I'll give you the definition of kinetic uh, temperature. Temperature is the measure of kinetic energy. I'm sure you know what kinetic energy is. And then length, time, and amount. Then there are different frequencies that we use for those units. We have kilo, which is 1,000 times bigger than one. Uh, then we have deci, which is th uh, 10 times smaller than one. Cent is 100 times smaller than one. Milli is 1,000 times smaller than one. I always tell my students that uh, they can remember it with an analogy of decade. The word decade um, is 10 years. Okay, century is 100 years. And uh, millennium is thousand years. So dec deci comes from decade, which is 10, centi comes from century, which is 100, milli comes from a millennium, which is thousand. And, but kilo is uh, different. You know, it is thousand, but it is thousand times bigger, not smaller. So uh, when we come, to, when <coughs> in chemistry we will convert units, we will not use the King Henry diet by drinking chocolate chip method. We need to use a proper method to convert the units and that method is called dimensional analysis and that's what I will be teaching in this video. So let's go to the next page. Dimensional analysis is basically a process, okay? It is a way to change the units from one type to another, you know, from uh, minutes to seconds, from mass uh, kilograms to grams, from meters to kilometers. As I said, we're not going to use um, just you know, you cannot say, okay, I'm going to move the decimal points three spaces to the right or left. Uh, we have to use a proper method, and that method is called dimensional analysis. So how do we apply? What is dimensional analysis? How do we use it? We are going to draw a big uh, plus sign, um, and then uh, write our numbers up and down, and multi, you know, uh, I'm going to show you how one second. For example, let's put this down here. Um, if you have to convert uh, 2.3 days into hours, you know hours, I'm going to use dimensional analysis. So what is dimensional analysis? Dimensional analysis means you're going to draw a big plus sign. You are going to write your question in the top left corner. That's what this method is telling you. Write what you are given on the left, okay? So you are going to write your question, this is your question, this is what you're given in the top left corner. So 2.3 days from here. Now do I know how many days is equal to how many hours? I know that one day equals to 24 hours. So in this equation, I have the days and I have the hours. Uh, I am going to use half of this equation uh, in the denominator and half of it in the numerator. The part that has the same unit as of this is going to be in the denominator so I can cancel it. So I'm going to write one day right here because I'd like to cancel the units and I'm going to write the other half of the equation in the numerator. Okay, once I set up this according to dimensional analysis, I can cancel the same units and I multiply all the numbers across and divide by 1. So it will be 2.3 multiplied by 24 divided by 1. So you multiply across, you divide by the denominator. And the only unit you have, you're left with is hours. Okay? 
So this is what the dimensional analysis is. Uh, the, the process in which you, are, you draw the plus sign, you write your question in the top left corner, and then you need to have a conversion factor. Uh, in this conversion factor, you're going to use the, the same unit in the denominator and the unit that you want in your answer in the numerator. So let's do a couple more examples. For example, I want to convert 25 kilometers into meters. So do I know that how many kilometers is equal to how many meters? I mean, do I know the relationship between kilometers and meters? Well, I know that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. If you're thinking that do I have to memorize these things, then yes, the answer is yes, you have to memorize these conversion factors. That one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. All of these are going, um, you can find them easily or I, I can provide it in the class, but for the quiz or the test, you have to memorize it. So I'm going to use the dimensional analysis method, which means I'm going to draw a big plus sign. What am I given in this question? I am given 25 kilometers that will go in the top left corner. The part of the equation that has kilometer, just like my question, will go here, so I can cancel them out. And the other half goes in the numerator. Now I have the same units that I can cancel. I will multiply across and divide by this. So what is going to be the answer? The answer is going to be 25,000 meters. Okay, because that's the only unit left. Now let's convert uh, 0 0.008 meters into milliliters. So I'm going to draw again a big plus sign. Why I'm drawing a big plus sign? Because I'm processing or solving this equation using dimensional analysis. This process is called dimensional analysis. Well, my question goes here, 0 0.008 meters. Now, do I know the relationship between meters and milliliters? Well, I know that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. Milli comes from millennium, okay? So one liter is 1,000 milliliters. Now, which half of the equation goes here? The one that has the same unit you know, the liter and the liter. So one liter goes here and 1,000 milliliter goes here. I, I would cancel the same units. Liters get canceled and multiply across. Okay, um, by chance, all of the examples are coming out where you're multiplying across. There is no number at the bottom here, there's only one. But this is not always the case, okay? So let's convert grams into kilograms. Again, one kilogram is 1,000 grams. That's the relationship that I know between kilograms and grams. So let's see how do I solve it using dimensional analysis. So I have 430,000 grams. If, if you don't write the unit, this is where the problem is going to be. You don't write the unit, you know. When you don't write the unit, you don't know which part of it goes in the denominator, which part of it goes in the numerator. So you have to write this whole thing. I mean, the, what I have learned over the years is that students think that, okay, I know what I'm doing. I don't really need to write the grams here. And that's where the problem starts. So you, you must write the unit so that you know that I'm gonna match here the same unit. The gram has to match with grams. So I'm gonna have 1,000 grams right here, and the other half goes in the numerator. Now when I have the same units, the units get canceled. I'm going to multiply it by one and divide by 1,000. When you multiply it by one and divide by 1,000, your answer is going to be what? Well, the two zeros get canceled by two zeros. The answer is going to be 430 kilograms. So yeah, you can say that I know how to do this regardless, but uh, so I probably don't need this answer, but you know what? You need to know this answer because uh, we need to know this method because we're going to apply this method in many other places. So go ahead and complete the example four as well as other practice problems. In your packet, there are more practice problems that you need to do, uh, and the page after this is uh, your homework. So go ahead and complete uh, this page, complete the examples, and complete all of the practice problems. Thank you very much for your attention. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.